you are looking to create and sell online courses, you've probably come across Kajabi and Thinkific. Both have incredible features, but which one is the best pick for you? In this video, I'll give you behind the scenes of the features, pricing, pros and cons, so you can make the best decision for your business. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I made this beautiful chart to make it as easy as possible to digest and compare the two softwares. So these are all the features I'm gonna go over. Let's start with all-in-one solution. By that, I mean, can it house your entire business? And yes, Kajabi can. So if we even look at Kajabi's website, you'll see you can have a course there, coaching, community, podcasts, newsletters, you can have sales funnels, your website, landing pages, even a blog, all of your email marketing funnels, automations, events, analytics. They even have Creator Studio that helps you create and push out content on social media. So it's definitely all in one. It's everything you need to run a business. Now Thinkific is not an all in one solution. Thinkific really mainly is a place to house your course, coaching, or membership, and definitely more so specifies on courses. But if we look at their website, you can see you can have a course, community, digital download, coaching, webinars, memberships, and then you can also have your landing pages for those courses and things. Also, if we click on channels, you'll see that. But if you're wanting to create email sequences and things like that, you'd have to have a separate software. Now, comprehensive course tools. Kajabi does have pretty comprehensive course tools and they have lots of templates that I'll show you here where you can create really beautiful courses quite fast and using their AI. And this is just an example of me creating a course really quickly. How beautiful is that? And Thinkific is even more advanced in terms of their comprehensive course tools than Kajabi, I think, just because think of it as like really, really a core software. And so if you even look into Thinkific's website, you can see here, if I go to products and courses, you can see here's just a basic outline of a course that I was playing around with. And within Thinkific, they have where you can ask questions, you can have quizzes, and you can have quizzes even in Kajabi as well. But Thinkific is definitely a little bit more advanced in terms of all of the different things you can offer within your course. So I'm really impressed with Thinkific course creation. It's pretty awesome and their AI is also awesome, which I'll get into in a little bit. Let's now talk about pricing. So Kajabi's pricing is pretty flexible just recently. So before you may have looked at Kajabi pricing and been like, mm, skirt, no. I know I did that. I first started on Teachable because Kajabi was like, not in my realm when I was first starting my business. And then I switched over because it just, it is all in one, it houses all the things and I actually ended up saving money from having both Teachable and my email software and my website. So anyway though, let's look at the pricing on their website because both Kajabi and Thinkific have flexible pricing. You can see here, they both normally just have 14 day trials, but I have extended 30 day trials for my audience. I have those linked down below. Also, if you use either one of these trials, I give you free access to my zero to 10K course roadmap that teaches you how to make your first $10,000 in course sales as a thank you to you. Now, the example in that course I'm using is through Kajabi, but if you go with Teachable, all of the same strategies apply. So don't worry about that. For their Kickstarter and basic plan, you're really gonna be allowed to just build out like one product, one course. So a lot of people, once you've built out your course, you're gonna want to definitely move up to more of that basic or starter plan, which is gonna be around $150 or $99. After that, you get onto the growth plan. This is the plan that I'm on. The growth plan on Kajabi is awesome. Loads of features. You're allowed way more products. I think you can have like 15 products like or courses within Kajabi, unlimited digital downloads, that sort of thing. And that's $199, but I pay for it annually, so it's $159. And then Thinkific is about the same, just $10 less if you buy it annually, $149. And then their pro plans, actually Kajabi's ends up being cheaper. It's $319 and $375. It's just something to note with the pricing. While Thinkific may look a little bit cheaper, and it is, you will also have to be paying for other softwares to be running your business. So paying for something like your email software, but that's not always super expensive. If you go with something like Flowdesk, I think that's like $50 a month, but it's just something to note to add into pricing if that's a factor for you. Cause that's something that I didn't do when I was first building out my course. So pro tip there. 
Let's talk now marketing funnels. You may be like, I do not care about marketing funnels. And I didn't when I first started building out my course, but let me tell you, once you build it out and your business starts growing, you're going to want to have funnels in your business. And Kajabi has very advanced funnels and Thinkific just has some basic funnels for you. Now I want to show you the back end of one of Kajabi's funnels. If I go to marketing funnels, Kajabi makes it really easy for you to create these intricate funnels where you take your audience through a buyer sequence where they could download an opt-in and then they can get a bunch of emails and then you can upsell them into another offer that you may have. So for example, you can see here for my zero to 10K course roadmap, which remember if you use one of my links, you get access to, you can see when people sign up, it takes them through a five email sequence that then is automated and sends out. So super cool and helpful. And Kajabi has really easy templates that allow you to do this quite quickly. You can see here, Thinkific also has funnels. They have sales funnels, lead gen funnels, and like a sales page funnel. So these are definitely a bit more basic. With Kajabi, you can also add email automation, which is super nice. But this also is really helpful in building out your course as well. So again, just kind of what you're wanting out of your software. Next, you probably have already realized Kajabi does have email marketing and Thinkific does not. Let's take a look behind the scenes at Kajabi's email software. You can see there are loads of beautiful templates that you can choose from and it's very easy to create emails where you have videos that you send people to or monthly newsletters. So whatever it is, Kajabi makes it very easy. And we've also seen that you can create automated email funnels within Kajabi as well. Now, if you're like, ooh, I just like Thinkific better though, I wanna go with just like a straight course platform. Now with Thinkific, you can link up your email software with their software. So the one that they have is MailChimp and I'm sure there's other ones that you can add into in terms of email softwares. Though I will say I really love Flowdesk and it's such a bummer. I don't see that you're able to use Flowdesk with Thinkific, which, oh gosh, I think if I had to pay for email software now, that's what I would do. Since they don't have it, you could always just leave them separate, but it might be nice to be able to integrate them together. So I might check out MailChimp if you decide to go with Thinkific. Next, let's talk communities and memberships. Kajabi has really improved their community feature and you can have a membership within their platform. It reminds me a lot of Mighty Networks but like a lesser version. Mighty Networks obviously has like a lot more because they are dedicated to building out communities. But if you're wanting to build a community alongside your course, Kajabi is great for that. And Thinkific is also great for that as well. I feel like they're very comparable. Next, in video conferencing, if you are wanting to do live calls within your course or coaching within your course software, you can do that now with Kajabi. So you don't even need to pay for Zoom anymore. You can do all of your meetings in Kajabi. And what's super cool is that it will automatically save the video and then it'll be there for your community or for your customers to watch later on if you want it to stay there or go live somewhere else. So for me, that's just really nice because for so long I taught all of my live coaching on Zoom and then I have to wait for it to save and then I have to upload it into Kajabi. So now I don't have to do that anymore because it's integrated within Kajabi. Whereas Thinkific, it's not the case you still have to use something like zoom and that's something that then you can actually integrate within the software next when it comes to podcasting and blogging you can podcast and blog in kajabi i have not ever tried to build out a podcast in kajabi and i would say if you're really serious about podcasting like maybe kajabi is not the best place to get it pushed out but that's just me if you are wanting to build out a podcast you can totally do it within Kajabi, and but that's something you cannot do in Thinkific. The blogging in Kajabi, also they make it super easy. You could even use Kajabi's AI, Ama to help you take content you already have and turn it into blog posts. Crazy. Next, let's talk third-party integrations, and I've already touched on this a lot. This is something that Kajabi is very limited in because it is already an all-in-one platform. So let's say you were wanting to sell physical products as well. You could technically link Shopify with Kajabi, but it's not easy to do. It would be pretty clunky, and I would say you should probably just have like Shopify and Kajabi separate. Kajabi and Thinkific aren't great places to sell actual like physical products. It's more definitely for digital things like courses and digital downloads. But because Thinkific has third party integrations where you can kind of choose what other softwares you want to use for other parts of your business, you can link it with Shopify a lot easier than you can 
with Kajabi. So you can see some of the apps that you can integrate within Thinkific here. I actually don't recognize a lot of these things, but I'm sure some of these things are really helpful. We can look at most popular and you can see Zapier, MailChimp, ConvertKit is an email software, ActiveCampaign, dialog form that's going to help you create engaging learning content in the form of conversations that's pretty cool so if you're wanting more flexibility and adding these sorts of integrations thinkific is a great option let's talk ai now kajabi and thinkific both have amazing ai and i would say they're both pretty advanced but i just checked out thinkific's ai recently and like it blew me away. I'll show it here in a second, but let's first look at Kajabi's AI. Their AI is nicknamed AIMA for Ask Me Anything, and it makes it easier than ever to build out courses. You can put in some information and it will actually outline a full course for you. You can type into AIMA like you would for ChatGPT and have it help you come up with content ideas, write out content. It's awesome. Now with Thinkific, Thinkific also has really amazing AI. Watch me create this email opt-in. I put in some information that it asked for and it pops out with a beautiful page for me. Like what? I would say they're both pretty comparable, but I really am so impressed with Thinkific. I honestly wish that Kajabi's AI was like Thinkific's. I, I think it's just so easy to use. It makes course creation and opt-in creation literally like you could do it in two minutes. Whereas Kajabi, it's pretty fast. Thinkific, it's like crazy fast. So if there's a winner for the AI, it's Thinkific. Also, I'm obsessed with AI. I literally asked ChatGPT to double check all my emails now and ChatGPT is my best friend. Like, thank goodness for my husband. For me, I always second guess like emails or texts and I'd ask him, but now I just ask ChatGPT. So <laughs> you're welcome, Adam. All right, next let's talk high quality support. Kajabi has 24 seven live chat for their customers. And let me tell you, their support is super, super helpful. Anytime I've had an issue, they're very quick to help. Recently, I was trying to figure out why this code in my website wasn't working because I custom coded this text and I couldn't figure it out. And the support got right back to me and they showed me exactly where I had made an error. Boom, easy. So their support is awesome and they're always making changes and they really take feedback from their customers to heart. Like they're always trying to improve their software. They're adding in more tools and products for their clients. So 10 out of 10. Thinkific also has great support. They have email and live chat. And if you are on one of their top plans, you can also see that you get a phone and priority email support. So if you're feeling like you need that phone support, which I feel like live chat should be able to take care of it, but you can get that if you were on their grow plan. So who wins, Kajabi or Thinkific? Honestly, it really comes down to your preferences of what you most desire in building out your course or product. I really believe Kajabi is best for people who want an all-in-one solution. If you're like more low key, you want everything all in one place, you want all of your marketing and everything to just all be housed together, Kajabi is for you. My brain is like, I got squirrel brain. I can't have all these different integrations and things. I need it all in one place that makes my brain feel happy. So for me, I like that. Now the cost is slightly higher, but with their new Kickstarter plan, where you can just start off with one product, it's way more accessible. So if you were to start off on the Kickstarter plan, you can only get a 14 day trial with that, not a 30, but their Kickstarter plan is an awesome way to, at a lower cost, build out your first product, start selling it, and then when you're ready to expand, get on a higher plan. In the end too, because Kajabi also has your email software, funnels, website pages, all the things, it honestly can be cheaper than if you were to go with a cheaper course software, but we're having to buy all the other things to run your business, like email marketing, Zoom, funnels, podcasting, whatever. The features in Kajabi are very comprehensive and very suitable for scaling to six plus figures. I think Thinkific is best for educators who are really focused on delivering high quality courses and they want detailed assessments and integrations. So if that's you and you love the look of Thinkific, then it's a great option for you. And like I said, that AI is literally insane. So 
I'm a big fan. Now it's slightly cheaper to get started with Thinkific, but once you get up to more of their middle plans, it comes very comparable with Kajabi. So just something to keep in mind, knowing that if you go Thinkific in the end, it's probably gonna cost you more money because you're needing to pay for whatever integrations you're using. Now, after going through these features, hopefully you have a better idea of what platform is best for you. You truly cannot go wrong. Whatever you pick, you're gonna end up being happy with because you built a course on it and you're promoting and selling something you're really passionate about, hopefully. And so I wish you all the best as you're course creating. If you were interested in learning more about Kajabi, because I use Kajabi for my own business, don't forget if you use one of my 30 day trials, you also get access to the zero to 10 K course roadmap. I hope this video is so helpful for you. I will see you next time. Bye.